Welcome to the Fake News Debunker of West Africa Broadcast and Media Academy, WABMA. WABMA is a professional media training institute and a finishing school for aspiring and current media practitioners offering short and long-term certificate courses at the basic, intermediate and advanced levels. First up was Obi deported from the UK. Several rumors went viral during the weekend of Easter over the situation of Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi in the United Kingdom. One of the claims made by Femi Fani Kayade was that Obi was detained and deported from the UK. The claim is false. Here are the facts. Peter Obi traveled to the UK to celebrate Easter when he was stopped by London immigration officials and placed on detention. The spontaneous reaction of Nigerians at Heathrow Airport, however, made the immigration officials disclose that they had to stop Obi because someone was impersonating him. They explained that since the impersonator is still at large, Obi could be implicated in a series of forbidden acts and even be framed in a manner that could be a huge embarrassment to him, his family, his party, the obedient movement, and even Nigeria. Hence, he had to be kept under their custody. The former Anambra State's governor has since returned to the country, continuing his charity work, visiting health and educational institutions, making donations, and bagging awards. Though many news organizations misrepresented what transpired in the UK, none reported that Obi was deported. Conclusion The claim that Peter Obi was deported from the UK is false. Next, has federal government repaid all loans? A message forwarded several times on WhatsApp claims Nigeria successfully repaid China. Islamic Bank, Arab Bank, IMF, and others, 3.63 trillion Naira debts. The claim is misleading. Here's what we know. Different creditors received payments between January and December of 2022 in Naira and dollars. Data from the Debt Management Office, DMO, obtained by Legit.ng, Nigeria spent 3.63 trillion naira servicing its external and domestic debts in 2022. Meanwhile, in another report, it was revealed that Nigeria's total public debt stock rose to 46.25 trillion naira as of the end of December 2022. This is a 14.46% increase or 6.69 trillion naira compared to 39.56 trillion naira recorded on December 31, 2021. The 6.69 trillion naira was the new amount borrowed by the government, a double of the amount of loan repaid. Conclusion The claim that the federal government has repaid all loans is false. Remember to fact check anything before you share it. Don't engage and do not amplify. Do you have a story? Tag us on socials at Wabma Online or share with us on WhatsApp at 0902-547-8072 and we will fact check for you. Join Wabma in debunking fake stories. Share this content with your contacts. I am Dr. Chiggy.